Welcome everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. Hopefully this video will show you how to make eye racing paint uh, in real time. It's the most accurate way to do it. Uh, I am going to assume that you have a few things though. So uh, I'm going to assume you already have a copy of Photoshop and you already know about trading paints. So you're going to need a few things first. Firstly, um, you're going to need to pick the car that you want to paint and we're going to get the template. So the go to eye racing and log in and then go to uh, your account and customize paint schemes and click on customize car once this loads up find which car you want to paint so in this case for the uh, for this video I shall have a look at the uh, the cup car Mustang and you want to click on download car template and this will download a little zip file um, to your downloads folder and you just want to unzip that and in there will be a uh, a file that Photoshop can open for you which will look something like this it pops up like this now always get the latest version uh, the latest ones have the new custom spec mark I'll go through that on a uh, on a different video um, while you're on the iRacing website you're gonna need to go to account then my account it'll ask you to sign in again and then the top right hand corner you're gonna need this number customer ID number you're gonna need to write that down and remember it somehow we're gonna need that for later to make the paints work in real time with trading paints so once you've done that and you've got your Photoshop open you're then gonna to wanna to go and open your trading paints bring up this little dialog box click on advanced options and then check painting mode once you've done that you can just minimize that and we'll go back to iRacing to the home page it is a bit of a faff to get there but it is worth it now what you want to go down and do is click on test pick the car you want to test so in this case we're doing the cup car the uh, uh where's he gone? there it is uh, we're going for the Ford Mustang cup car and most painters use the uh, this circuit centripetal circuit it's basically just a big skid pan uh, click on that and then you want to go test car and track okay so once i racing is loaded up as you can see in the bottom left hand side of the screen i've got it there just because that's on my second monitor uh, this will work on a single monitor don't worry about that it's just uh, for the purposes of this video i'm going to show it like this so you load up you want to click on test and you'll enter the car and you, you want to drive out of the pit box because for some reason trading paints doesn't like uh, refreshing the paints when you're in the pit box. So we're just going to move forward slightly. Stop somewhere around here. That's far enough. Hold escape. And then we're going to watch the little replay until the car moves. And uh, we're going to pause it once we're out of the pit box. Okay. Once the car's stopped, change the camera to TV3. It's just the easiest to deal with. You're going to want to hold control and press F12. That brings up the camera menu. Now in the camera menu, there's a little section, a little drop down called zoom. If you click on that, you want to change that to static FOV, static field of view. Click on that. And now we're going to use the WASD keys to move around. So W to move close to the car. And D to, D to move right, A to move left. But obviously, that's fine. Um, you're going to find a good angle somewhere around there and once you've done that press spacebar it gets rid of all the UI and now you're ready to paint so what we're going to do we're going to go back to Photoshop and we're going to find this little button here it looks like a play button it's called actions and what Photoshop's going to do it's going to copy everything we do and make it into a single button action and this is the best way to paint your car in real time so I'll try and I'll try and do this the simple way and then everybody can understand so click on actions and we're going to click on this little icon here it looks like a folded piece of paper so click on that and we'll call it I don't know uh, cup mustang since that's what we're painting right once you once you put you press record now once you've pressed it Photoshop will remember everything we've done until we tell it to stop so press record then we're going to go File, Save As, 
We're gonna cut. I'll call this one Cup One. I've already got the file here, so Cup One, and it's you can leave it as a Photoshop file. Click Save. It doesn't really matter where you save that to, as long as you remember where it goes. Then I click File again. Photoshop still recording. Save as. Then we're gonna find, in my case, Libraries and then Documents. You want to find your Documents folder. Go to iRacing, then Paint. Now I want to find the car that we're painting, so in my case it's Stock Cars Ford Mustang 2019. Open that up, then we want to change our file type to Targa or TGA. This bottom one here. I'm going to call it car underscore and then your account number that you copied down from iRacing earlier, the one that's in the top right hand corner on your account. It needs to be that number, so car underscore and then your account number. And once you've done that, click save. It'll ask you target options. We want 24 bits, preferably compressed. It makes trading paints a bit snappier to load the paints in when you're, uh, when you're out racing. Once you've done that, click OK. Now the next thing you do is press stop, this button right here. And that tells the action to stop recording everything you're doing. So once you've clicked it and everything's saved, there we go. The car changes blue because that's the color we've got. Now all you need to do is, from here you can do whatever you want in Photoshop, so uh, I'll quickly just make a new layer which is this little button down here, in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, and then I'll get a brush tool and I'll put something daft on. A couple of squiggles, squiggly squiggles. Once you've done that, if you want to preview this on the car, all you got to do is make sure this highlighted the one you've just made, so in my case Cup Mustang, and press play. The, the little play button right here. Trading paints loads up, and there you go. There's your squiggles on the car. And that's all you gotta do. If you don't like it, I'll well, get rid of that leg because I don't like that. Just press play, and everything's back to how you saved it. Now, if you, if you are painting the car, you know, if you're putting some uh, designs on, let's say, uh, I don't know, you put a stripe here and a couple of stripes here, something like that. Click play, put some on the car, but now you want to you want to look around the car while it's still on, that's fine. Just click back onto your iRacing, WASD, or you press spacebar if you want to get rid of the UI. WASD, you can look around, you can see what fits, what doesn't, what colour combos work. As long as you just keep pressing, keep going back to your actions in Photoshop, once you've made the change, where you can you can paint for a couple of hours and then press play if you want. Just press the play, and because Photoshop rem remembers what you've pressed, it just redoes it for you. It saves you going through the whole, the whole thing again. And that's it. That's how you paint cars in real time and eye racing using training paints. Uh, I hope it's been informative. If everybody can follow it, I'm going to make a few more videos on how to do different shapes and different styles uh, and lining things up. Uh, they will come in future videos but until then thanks for watching uh, if you've got any suggestions please leave them in the comments down below and much appreciated